Hello, this is Patrick Raymond presenting my manifesto, which is progressive architecture is no longer rectilinear. Rectilinear forms, or rectangles, are inherently primal and static. And while life needs the static for stability, it also requires dynamic changing things in order to progress. This is why I feel architecture needs to push towards more organic forms. Take these H2O molecules, for example. They react to the forces around them when acted upon. If we were to think of this in terms of site location, this is incredibly beneficial. Whereas a rectangle has no conversation with locations around it at all. I mean, what's it saying? Talk to my walls? Another important feature of rectangles is their association with destinations of reward. In our capitalist society, we worship the rectangle. It's on our money, our houses, and our monuments. But why does this show up so much? Simply put, I think it's our obsession with instant gratification. We always want the reward for free without any work. We skip the journey, and that's where we go wrong. Without hardship, we can't progress, or even use the reward properly. Perhaps this is why so many rectilinear buildings have been created. It's easy. I mean, we're so focused on completion that we completely forget about the design process. So finally, uh, <laughs> I just want you guys to know that I'm not some rectangle hater. Rectilinear forms are without a doubt important. Uh, for instance, if we were to take this creek and remove its rectilinear banks, it would simply flow all over the place. Therefore, our dynamic progress can be guided by static geometry, like the rectangle. 